you were thinking, Lee, is that a hollow core door you're holding up with a hole in it? Well, guess what? You're absolutely right. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, I just want to say welcome. We're a home improvement channel where we, well, we welcome beginners as well. Now today's video has to do with repairing a hole in a hollow core door. And it seems like it would be tricky, but I got to tell you, there's a simple fix for it. And when I show you, you're going to say to yourself, oh my goodness, Leah, I think I can do it. In fact, I know I can do it. Nothing could be simpler. Now make certain that you have a nice, sharp utility knife when you do this job. All right, here's our hole. And how we want to start is we want to take a utility knife. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim this hole, but we're going to taper it. We're going to cut it at an angle. And the way we do this is we're just going to take our time here and we're going to taper a cut around. Notice I've, I've tapered that, okay? Don't worry if it's a little ragged in the inside. It just won't matter. So I'm just going to continue around here. This is easily cut. This is not very thick. It's just a very thin veneer. And what I will tell you is that's why it cuts so very easily. And that's why, to be honest with you, these doors get damaged quite easily as well. Okay, so I've got my hole nice and tapered here. These are the materials you're going to need. I'm using plastic wood because I have a natural uh, wood finish here. I like plastic wood because it's sandable, it accepts stain, it accepts paint, and it sets up very quickly. Now the next thing I'm going to set this aside. We're going to spray insulating foam in our hole and it's going to fill up the space and give us something to patch over. Now the drawback to using expanding foam is it's very difficult to control. So you may shoot that expanding foam in there and what will happen is it will bow out the door. You want to use a low expansion foam like this and it'll be labeled as such. If you notice it says low foam pressure expansion and that's exactly what you want to look for. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the hole a little bit with a piece of cardboard. Okay, there we go. It's, well, it's wedged in really nice. And now it's time to spray our foam. Now our insulation, it's it's dry and set up. So what we have to do is we've got to trim this back. And it just is going to cut really easily. Let me show you how well it cuts. It's going to slice it and dice it. There we go. Okay, our area is all prepared, it's all ready, and now we're going to apply our plastic wood. I'm going to take the lid off. Now what I want to make certain of is that I overfill the area.
it's a little bit rough but that's okay I just want to make certain that when I sand it it sands flush because it's protruding out just a little bit above the surface I'm going to let this set up and dry completely and then I'll sand it smooth okay there's our repair area right here it's nice and hard I've allowed it to dry overnight now all we have to do is sand the area so it's nice and smooth and uniform. Now to sand this area smooth I'm going to use 150 grit sandpaper that's what this is. So there we go, there's our finished patch right there. We've got a nice smooth transition from our wood to our patch. Once this is painted, you won't even be able to tell that there was ever a hole there. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.